Hey everybody, in today's video I need to explain for loops. A for loop will repeat some code a certain amount of times. For example, I will display the word hello. Hello, then I will add a line break. I can write code once, then repeat it however many times that I want with the for loop. To create a for loop, type for, parentheses curly braces, then place your code you want to be repeated within the set of curly braces. I would like to display the word hello a certain amount of times. That's the nice thing about for loops. You can write code once, then repeat it, but we'll need to calculate how many times we're going to repeat it. Within the parentheses of the for loop, we can write up to three optional statements, each separated with a semicolon. The first statement is that we can create a counter. It's as if we're assigning a variable. A common naming convention for a counter is variable i, i meaning index. I can set this equal to zero to begin with. The next statement is a stopping condition. When this condition is no longer true, we escape the for loop. I would like to display the word hello five times. My condition will be variable i is less than five. Once i is no longer less than five, we will escape. The third optional statement we can use to increment or decrement our counter. After each iteration, I will increment i by one, i plus plus. This code will be repeated five times. Here we are, one, two, three, four, five. Instead of displaying the word hello, let's display our index i, then add a line break. i currently holds our counter. We set the counter to begin at 0, and it will stop when i reaches 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Maybe we would like to start at 1, and continue as long as i is less than or equal to 5. Then we're no longer beginning at 0. We could change this condition to be 10. We will count up to 10. Or 100. We will count up to 100. When you increment your variable, you can increment by a different number, like 2. i plus equals 2. We are now counting up by 2s. 1, 3, 5, 7. If we change our counter to be 2, we'll start at 2, then count up by 2. Or maybe we can count up by 3s. 2, 5, 8, 11. Now to decrement, let's begin at 10. Our counter will be at 10. We'll continue this for loop as long as i is greater than 0. Then to decrement, take i, then add minus minus. So now we begin at 10 and decrement by 1 during each iteration. Or we can even decrement by 2's. i minus equals 2. So we begin at 10 and we're decrementing by 2's. So that's a for loop. You repeat some code a certain amount of times. There are three optional statements within the for loop. A counter we can declare, a condition, then we can increment our counter by a certain amount, or decrement. Let's go over an exercise. We will create an HTML form. In VS Code, hit exclamation point, tab, that will generate some HTML code. We'll create a form. The opening form tag will have an action attribute of our PHP page, index.php. The method, let's assign to post. We'll create a label. Label, close it. Enter a number to count to. We will add a text box, input, type, the type is text, the name will be counter, then a submit button, input type equals submit, for the value, let's say start. The user is going to type in a number to count up to. We'll need to get that value from the text box. Let's say variable counter. We will access the post super global variable. We would like our counter. 
Then we'll create a for loop. For parentheses curly braces. We'll need our index for our for loop. So variable i equals zero to begin with. We're counting up. Our condition will be variable i is less than or equal to our counter. Then we will increment variable i by one during each iteration. During each iteration, let's echo whatever variable i is, then add a line break. Let's see what happens. Let's refresh this. Let's count up to 10. I'll enter 10, press start, then we count up to 10. If you would like to exclude zero, we can set i to be one. There we are, we have counted up to 10. Or I could pick a different number like 100. Press start, we now count up to 100. Now what we're gonna do is count down from a number. Enter a number to count down from. We're gonna change our for loop a little bit. We will set our counter of i to equal the number that we receive. Our counter variable will continue as long as i is greater than zero, then we will decrement i. So let's save. You might have to refresh. Let's count down from 10. Press start, and here we are. We have started at 10, and we have counted down to one. Or I can enter a different number like 100. So we start at 100, then count down to one. So that's a for loop, everybody. You can repeat some code a certain amount of times. You only have to write it once, then repeat it however many times that you need. And well, everybody, those are for loops in PHP.